guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back from my vacation. If you guys didn't know or if you didn't follow me on Instagram as well, I was in Europe for the past, well, two, two and a half weeks-ish and uh, it was an amazing trip. It was our first time in Europe, a very tiring trip. In fact, uh, I think tiring is not even the word I'm supposed to use. I think it was excruciatingly painful for me just because I don't know, for some reason, it, I just started off with the wrong foot, like literally. Uh, for some reason, my left ankle, I somehow injured it. I didn't twist it or anything, but I think because of the long flight and just the fact that I, you know, I'm a person who always has a lot of inflammation in my joints, it just somehow made my left ankle really bad. And I don't know, I guess if I had perhaps had time to rest a little bit more at the beginning of my trip that maybe it wouldn't have progressed to the point where I was limping basically on my whole trip and relying on ibuprofen for the good part of my trip, the good later part of my trip because I, I try not to take any medication for inflammation because you know, anyway, I don't I don't want to bore you guys, but basically, uh, although I had a great experience and I love traveling and love seeing the world, uh, especially because I've never been to Europe, uh, it was very, very painful for me. But nevertheless, um, I'm semi-recovered now. Now that I'm a little bit more rested, I've decided to go ahead and film a video for you guys. I do quite, I do have quite a few sort of tag videos that I was tagged on that I need to do as well as of course I have all my vlog footages so I'm gonna work on that in the future weeks. Uh, but for today, I thought you guys might be probably more interested into a reveal perhaps. As you saw in my thumbnail, probably you knew that I bought some stuff from Louis Vuitton as well as Dior. There's a little box from Dior. So the smaller box item, I guess, uh, is in this one, the Dior. Um, like I mentioned in the past, uh, we were in Europe for a cruise. But we also went to London and Paris before we went to Barcelona and then on to our cruise for seven days and then back to Barcelona and then back home. In London, we um, visited uh, the, the big department stores such as Harrods and Selfridges. I loved, I loved the department store. They were so, so nice. And uh, I didn't buy anything in London. I guess I was waiting to maybe buy my things in Paris and also uh, just because the euro for us was better. It was the euro prices were still better than the um, British pound prices. But nevertheless, uh, I really, really enjoyed London. It was such a beautiful city and I have to talk about my trip overall, my first impressions and tips and tricks uh, for traveling to these cities. Uh, if you end up going yourself. But anyway, my first item is in this Dior box. In Paris, we went to uh, Galerie Lafayette and this is where I picked up these earrings. So judging from the packaging, you probably know which, what they are. Um, so they come in this little dust bag that has two layers so that you can store one earring in each and then you can tie it up. I really like this cute dust bag. It's really good for traveling. And here they are, these tribal earrings. I, I immediately wore them. I love them so much. Here they are. Here's how they look like. I think they look amazing, especially with my hair down, actually. I feel like whenever my hair is down, they really pop whenever, say, my, I turn my head or whatever. So these are my very first purchases from Dior. And next, I have an item in this box. Well, it was initially in this box, and I think this is way bigger than it was supposed to be to reveal ta-da I got myself another shawl I was waiting between this shawl and the Burberry shawl and of course I love both but I don't know I I was at Harrods and I was trying to look for the ivory check one they didn't have any in stock made me buy this one instead I got this one in Spain. I love buying shawls just because I get cold all the time and I was super surprised that I came back home uh, to like basically winter or fall. It was so cold and it's still really cold this week. It's been raining 
and just really really cold and so yeah here's my really beautiful shot i love that this black color even though it's all monogram that you can't really see the monogram and i know it sounds weird because when i bought my first denim shawl which i did a really uh, extensive review and modeling of it uh, i'll link it down below if you guys are interested uh, that was the reason why I bought it because I wanted to be able to see the monogram But now that I've had the other one for a while. I just wanted something that's more sort of You know if you don't really notice you don't know that it's LV definitely more under the radar But still really luxurious and very soft for this scarf and for my other LV item that I will reveal I picked them up in uh, Palma de Mallorca and yeah, it's such a beautiful, beautiful little island uh, that is part of Spain. So if you've watched my wishlist video, you would know that I wanted to pick this up. Ta-da! This is what I got. The Speedy Bandoulier 25 size in monogram. And like you can see, there's still a lot of creases on it. But that is because... Uh, when I bought it, I just I just left it folded because I, I needed to be able to transport this uh, as, as well as everything else that we brought there. By the way, we didn't check in any luggage. We only did carry on. Everyone did carry on plus like a backpack or something like that. So I was pretty impressed at my packing skills. This along with all my purchases as well as the the mini palm spring that I brought to Europe to use it was all inside my backpack it was pretty amazing so yeah so this is my other LV purchase it smells so good guys and the patina is so virgin so white uh, like I said this one I also picked up in Palma comes with a brand new strap this was their very last one apparently in the store and I was kind of worried I was checking for if there was anything wrong with it, scratches or anything but luckily there wasn't anything and so I was like okay I will accept it <laughs> even though it's the last one everything looked good, checked out so I decided that why not even though it's the last one I mean I guess it's meant to be and so this one is the new version that comes with the little zipper inside so I do feel that the zipper opening pocket is really small oh they did leave the little tags for me which is awesome I do keep these things with the receipt uh, by the way if you do that refund and depending on the method that you do you do have to sometimes provide the original receipt so because they took my original receipt, I have no receipt for the for my items anymore. But I do have the uh, email version, and it comes with uh, another little dust bag with the keys and the lock, which I never use. But I will just show you. It's a brand new one. It's very shiny. This is actually something that my husband picked up, and he told me that I can unbox it on my video. So I was like, okay, sure, why not? I will open it for the first time for him. Here we go. This is what he picked up. It comes in this box. And it's this bag. Oh, it has the tag here. Cool. They left him the tag. He picked up the eclipse belt, the reversible eclipse belt. This is so nice, guys. So it has the black side, which is uh, smooth leather. It's so nice, guys. And it has the Eclipse side. He loves the belt that I gave him, and um, he's always loved the reversible version, and I guess he's always loved the monogram buckle version as well. But this is definitely more on the um, casual side, and which is great. He now has a thicker, casual, or more casual belt. And the one that I got him is a little bit more dressy, which he can use um, for more formal occasions. So similar to the one that I have, you kind of just remove it and then you can change sides. It's really nice. It smells so good. It's made in Spain too, and we picked up in the exact we picked up all our LV items in the same store. It was a small store in Palma, but it was a nice store. And we knew that um, we might not 
like or I knew that maybe we might not have the time since we're sightseeing a lot I we didn't know exactly how much time we would have in Barcelona or in our last few days in Europe which would be Barcelona to really do some shopping so we decided that we would try to do as much as we could on the day we were in Palma so that's what he picked up last but not least uh, we picked up a small thing from Pandora so this was actually in Barcelona so that was really like the end of our trip the very last day actually and normally I'm not a super big fan of Pandora not because I don't like it I think their things are really cute but it's just that um, I don't really wear bracelets that often and plus um, charms are I think you guys know that charms are not really quite my thing but I didn't mind going just because I know that every city or even every store has their own limited edition items that are specific to that city or that store so for instance when we're in Hawaii we would pick up you know a charm that is only made in Hawaii or only sold at that store in Hawaii and so we knew that uh, we wanted something that is sort of commemorative or representative of that city that we travel to so Spain being you know a place that I like we're not sure when we're gonna go back um, we thought that you know we would just try to see what they have um, and so I picked up well my husband decided to get this for me for my birthday that is upcoming in July this little charm of this little cathedral and uh, those of you who live in Spain might know what this is. This is the Sagrada Familia. So this is the church that we actually did visit during our trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul plus chit chat video. I have so much more to talk about from this trip. Um, just overall impression of all the cities that we've visited, tips and tricks and what I've uh, observed that is different from here. Um, I even want to talk more about, I guess, shopping in Europe in general as well as the VAT refund process but I think it will be a super long video and plus I, I really need to focus on each subject um, and plus I have so much vlog footage to edit, I'm so excited to show you guys where we've been um, so yeah, that, those will be coming in the following weeks. If you're wondering about this t-shirt I did not buy in Paris, I had this t-shirt before I went to Europe, but I will link it down below if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!